There are many different campaign unlocks you can help customize your character in multiplayer. In this video, we're going to show you how to get those unlocks and what they look like. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Happy launch day everybody, Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button, it really helps out the video channel get a better place within that YouTube algorithm. If you want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo, now that we're finally here at the release of Halo Infinite, but there's still so much more to talk about, make sure you tap subscribe, so let's get right into that content here. So you heard me right, there are ways for you to unlock content in the campaign to customize your multiplayer Spartan. The way you find these items is by looking for areas within the open world of Zeta Halo. By recapturing forward operating bases aka fobs it unlocks new locations for you within the map kind of like a assassin's creed esque like go to the watchtower reveal a new section of the map there are these little gas station looking icons this is where you'll find these lockers where you can go unlock different items for your multiplayer spartan so basically you recapture all the fobs you get the chance to unlock all the customization within the campaign but what does all that customization look like because coatings themselves like the little flowers don't really showcase what the coating actually looks like so we're gonna actually look at it in this video so let's get right to it probably one of the coolest things you'll be able to unlock is the War Masters coding. If you want a better look, I suggest just pausing the video, guys, if you want to take a quicker, better look at things. But you get one for the Commando, you get one for the Bulldog, we have one for the Assault Rifle as well. The Battle Rifle, which I'm sure many of you are going to be very excited for. The Rocket Launcher. You also get some Weapon Charms. We have the Banished logo right here, which looks super cool. Dog Tag Weapon Charm as well, which is nice, subtle little touch to your weapon. The Banished Deception is another really cool coding that you get to have for your Mongoose. You get to have for the tank as well. We also have it for the Warthog, which again, looks amazing. I really like how this coating looks, guys. It looks super good on armor as well. Of course, if the Mongoose gets some love, you know that the Gun Goose is as well. The Wasp is a little disappointing. It just kind of looks red. It doesn't really highlight all the other colors, sadly, but I mean, it makes your Wasp certainly stand out and you finally get some customization for it, which is cool. And of course, if the Warthog gets some love, you know that the Rocket Hog is going to get some love with this coating on top of that. And of course the Razorback, because you know, the Razorback's a badass vehicle and it gets a pretty cool looking coat. I want to take a nice little 360 view on this one. You get to see how like the red and the green really pull out from this coating, which looks awesome. You also win some stances like the Requiem Revenge right here, which again, just looks so noble that you just can't help but when you win, you're going to be looking down upon the, the peasants. We have the Olympic pose as well, which kind of reminiscent of the original pose that we had for Halo Infinite's cover. The Act of Genesis, which are very re reminiscent of the Halo 5 pose that we saw for a lot of marketing, which again, looks so badass. You get some cool ass nameplates as well. Right here we have the Windfall nameplate. Of course, you get a Banish nameplate, which might be one of my favorites that we have available. The cool looking like Infinity Dragon Snake thing called Infinity, which again, looks amazing. Next, we get a cool look at all the armor coatings. I'm sure this is what mainly you guys are looking for as well. You have the Wild Coven, which looks Pretty dang awesome. This is the stuff we've seen for a lot of the promotional material showing up here within the campaign to get the unlock. We have the Shadow Sorel, which kind of just is like gray with a hint of blue on it. Nothing too crazy on this one. Scorpion Horvath, which has kind of a cool like camo print, yellowy orange kind of color to it. Definitely looks very unique compared to what we've seen right now for codenames in the Halo Infinite. Obelisk Stone, which I really like this one. This one I'm going to have to definitely hunt for within the open world and find out exactly where this one picks up. I like the asymmetry of it as well with kind of like the belt and also the legs and the arms don't exactly line up perfectly, which kind of gives a cool like balance to the whole thing. I really like this one coding. Midnight Griffin, which I'm pretty sure is a reference to Spartan Griffin that you come across within the campaign as well. Very unique armor coating color as well. So, and also wear a different kind of wear and tear on it, which looks amazing. Dogfight Makovich, which looks just kind of like light blue. Nothing too crazy there, but hey, you can't find it anywhere else besides in campaign. Crimson Vettel, which this is kind of one of those coatings I saw within Reddit that was kind of getting some heat because it's really just kind of like red with variations of red. Nothing too crazy, to be honest. Banish Deception, which this is one of my favorite coatings. This is one we saw a lot of promotional material as well. Uh, once this one gets unlocked for me, I'm definitely going to be rocking it. I'm sure it's probably going to be one of the favorites to be seen out in the battlefield. Blood Shadow, which has like this shiny material to the red coloring as well. Again, really just red, so it's not too crazy, but it has a cool finish to it as well. So it'll help make you stand out a little bit more. So if you guys are new to the channel and missed any content from me recently or want to catch more guides as soon as I post them, make sure you guys follow the channel here. Make sure you check out the videos on the screen. If you missed any content from me recently, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.